An Australian Friends? actor turned financial advisor and motivational <laughs> speaker has been sentenced to death in China. Calm Galepsi has been convicted of trying to smuggle 7.5 kilograms of methamphetamine. Federal Trade Minister Simon Birmingham has asked on Sky News whether the sentence was linked to the ongoing tensions between China and Australia. He said, we shouldn't necessarily view it as such. Gillespie has only 10 days to appeal. Ben, this is an interesting choice of words by the minister. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I think it's really dangerous um, territory because, you know, the man is being held accountable for his actions and he's being tried underneath a different country's uh, judici judici Oh, my God, I can't even say judici the word. I can't say it either, Ben. Don't oh worry. God. It's not Robbo, just help us. Robbo, your chance. Robbo. Judicial. Judicial. Thank you. But like it's, and that's when it's really dangerous and we have to be really careful when we step outside of Australia and we have to be really careful about the way in which we are perceived, you know, on top of the fact that this man is actually guilty of this. You know, we can't necessarily protect him. Do I think that China is doing a knee-jerk reaction and killing this man because of the relationship with Australia? I don't think so. And I think that's a really strange place to go into. I mean, that could just be me and my take on it. But I, I, I want to say to anyone that's out there, if you are stepping outside of Australia and you are visiting another country, do your research, find out what you're stepping into and find out what the consequences are for your actions because Australia won't always be able to help you. There's been plenty of times in our history where the government has tried to interject and save people's lives and it hasn't worked out. So, you know, I think this is just a part of, uh, you know, it's something that we need to just be really careful of when we're travelling. Indeed, Robo, yeah, I, I think there's an important thing here, though. And um, look, he's denying, his friends and family are denying that he had drugs and all that kind of stuff. So let's just park that for a moment. But I think mm -hmm. it's important that when Australians go overseas, we have to respect that there are rules in other countries. And 100%. as while we might not agree with it, if you are taking drugs into these countries, you do face death. That is their punishment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. And I agree exactly with that. Right. I also really... Yeah, I really agree with Ben. I don't think that this is really connected with the current tensions between China and Australia. Uh, this man was originally re arrested seven years ago. 2013 is when uh, he got arrested for it. Uh, it was 7.5 kilograms, as you mentioned, Rob. That's, you know, that's a huge amount of drugs. Um, I think it was actually irresponsible of the minister to, you know, kind of be very vague with his his response to that, uh, because mm. that amount of uh, that amount of drugs does absolutely get that sentence in China. Like it's not it, it's not as if you know he had a little bit of tobacco and oh we're going to kill him for that. It, it, it wasn't that. It, in line with China's judicial system, it fits the crime. The punishment does fit whether we agree with it or not. It doesn't matter. But I just thought it was it was very slightly fanning the flames by saying we shouldn't necessarily come to that conclusion. I think that's, that's just really, you know, it's not helpful and it's irresponsible. It's the Ben, Rob and Robbo.